So one thing about setting up a light in a small space is you need a lot of space just because you need a light stand and then the light and the dome. Everything takes up too much space. And I'm happy to say that I found a really nice solution. So today I'm gonna to share five items that I'm currently using to set up my mini product photography set. As you can see at the back, um, this is a tiny photography set that I've used for six months at least to shoot all my product photography. If you go onto Instagram, you will see all the product photography that's like taken on my reels and on my posts, it's done in this tiny small space. It's just a light propped up and um, I also use a natural light which is like over here and also um, a giant key light if I need to but um, normally I don't need it and it's just one light that helps me to set up everything for this photography. So I'm gonna jump right into what items do I use to make this set work. So the first item, light. Light is the most essential one. So as you can see, I'm using the Nanlite Forza 60B. Why Nanlite Forza 60B? Because it's very small and compact. I love the form factor. It's good, especially on this like very, very small space where I don't need to always like prop up a light stand and then boom it up. And even if I want to boom it, it's not too heavy and you can boom it on a lot of things, not just on a big heavy duty light stand. So yeah, the form factor is small and it comes in bi-color, which I can adjust the color temperature to the settings that I want. That is really, really good. So the second item is the Nanlite PowerTube 6C. Nanlite PowerTube 6C essentially it's a mini RGB light that can create a lot of different types of colors and RGB tones and also effects. So if you have watched my previous video, I've used the PowerTube 15C to create other product photography shots as well. And the PowerTube C is essentially way shorter than the 15C, which is more portable and easy to carry around and easy to place around. And I've used this to create like accent lights. And this is very good because once you have a key light, all you need is just like few lights to set things up. And I have two of them that helps me to do a lot of feeling in my product photography set. And the third and fourth item, um, I put it together because I use it together very often, is the Kupo Super Clamp and also the Max Arm. So essentially the Super Clamp, the name tells itself, it's a clamp that allows you to clamp in any other surface. Like normally people would clamp it on their light stand, but you know, I found that clamp works really well on the back of the shelf as well. And on top of the clamp, I added the Max Arm on it because the Max Arm gives you more flexibility rather than just mounting your light on the super clamp itself. So the max arm allows me to adjust my Forza 60B in and out. So I can adjust the light lower, higher, and tilt it to other angles depending on what I want. Let's say if right now I want to shoot a YouTube video, I can always like just turn this around and just make this my key light instead of having another light source here. Let me just try and show you how does it look like. So right now, as you can see from the mirror reflection, the curtains are closed and this is the only key light that is like point towards me. And honestly, it looks really good because Forza 6TV is essentially a very powerful light, compact in a small form factor. And I reckon you don't really need any other light if you are on a budget and you can only afford one key light. And this is the light that I would recommend in small spaces just because it's small enough. You know, compared to like a Forza 300B, which uh, it's mounted on a bigger light stand. It just takes up too much space. I'll show you what I mean. As you can see. This is a big light and it takes up so much space and... Yeah, it just takes up too much space and um, I think it takes up like one third of my studio space whenever I set this up and I only set up if I really want to do like proper lighting and stuff but you know other than that most of the time all my workflow goes into the Forza 60B that's why having the Kupo Super Clamp and the Max Arm actually really helps and one last final item that I feel it's super underrated that you know I feel like I just want to highlight it it's the Apple Box yeah so this Apple Box it's um, sent over by Kupo so shout out to Kupo for sending me this. I've always wanted one of this just because um, it's fun to use. And you know, I can use it as a stool to sit down. And when I'm shooting my product photography, I'm using it as a pedestal to step up just to give me a better elevation or height. And this 
Apple Box comes in four different variations of height. So inside the Apple Box, there's three more smaller Apple Box with different height. And you can just mix and match and adjust it to the height that you want. I know this is an item that normally people don't really highlight, but you know what? This small minute things, you know, as you go into content creating, these little small things that can help you save time and make your creative experience better really help. And I've begun to embrace all these tiny little details that really help in my everyday creative solution. So if you have a small space and you don't want to have a light stand that is always around this area that you know just hinders you from moving around or creating more stuff and all that, this would be a very good solution. And yeah, if you like this very short and simple video, trying to keep everything simple right now just because I feel like short format is the way to go. So yeah, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on my next video.